Hey, what's going on, Corvette Cruising fam? Hey, this is me, Ed. I got a great episode lined up for us today, so I need you to do me a favor. If you are new to this channel, I need you to go ahead and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. If you are returning, I need you to like this, this episode. Please like it. I need all the likes I can get so we can get those algorithms up. We got a great show lined up for you today. If you are a Corvette lover, this episode is for you. If you are a C8 owner or if you're thinking about the C8, we're going to look at the evolution of the, the C8. We're going to look at the prototypes. We're going to look at the Corvettes from uh, C1 all the way through to C8. This is my trip to uh, the Corvette Museum. So you guys are going to love it. I mean, if you're a Corvette lover, you're going to love this particular episode. So that's all I have. Listen, make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you like, click that bell uh, notification so that you'll be alerted whenever I uh, create a new uh, episode. We are here at the museum, and guess what? The first person I run into is Chris from Boston. Chris did not drive his car. He flew in today, but we're gonna to talk to Chris today. Chris, tell us what kind of car you got. I have a 14 Stingray, uh -huh. red on black, and I love every second of it. Yep. It's my fourth Corvette. It's I, your fourth Corvette? It's my fourth, yeah. Wow, okay. I went through three C5s to get to this point. Did you? Yes. and. Uh, I just, I don't even know how to describe it. It's a feeling like, you know, you can't have until you get in one and drive it. Right. It's a very special uh, car. So I've always told everybody I know that if you pulled up in a Ferrari and a Corvette and held out both keys, I'm taking the keys to the Corvette and I'm out of here. Come on, talk to me, Chris, you know, talk to me. So, so Chris, tell me about the, uh, the, the C8. What do you think about the C8? Are you gonna get one? Or are you gonna stick with your 14? I'm gonna get one someday, but right now I, I can't afford the hundred eighty thousand dollars that the dealers are asking for them. <laughs> but uh, when they come down to a little more realistic, you know, fifty, sixty, uh, I definitely will trade mine in for one. But uh, and it, it's an amazing car. That's um, same as the the C7. You know, when I first saw it in pictures, I was a little thrown off and you know wasn't feeling it. But as soon as you see it in person, it's a whole different car. It's just you know it takes away any bad feelings you had about it from the first look. Well, you guys, that's Chris. Chris is from Boston. He's got a 2014 uh, C7. All right, you guys, so here we are. We're starting to work our way towards the C8. We saw the whole wall of fame. That's what I call it, <laughs> the wall of fame. So we saw that wall of fame. And so now we're just working our way toward the, the C8. We're working our way. Look at the different prototypes. 1970 concept engine, look at this. Mid-engine concept, it's the concept. This is the concept. For some of you guys that got the C8, here's your concept. Gotta come from somewhere, you guys. So here comes your concept. So now we're working our way toward the, your C8. We're working our way toward it. We saw some prototype. Look at this. Man, you guys, come on. Please, subscribe, like the channel. Man, I'm doing my best, y'all. Subscribe, like the channel. Put some comments. Say, man, I like that. I like that, Ed. This is nice. This is nice. Look at the concept. This is the concept of the 2020. The concept of the 2020. Some of us, I don't know if we will purchase a 2020 uh, or not. Maybe, uh, you know, 2020 and beyond the C8. I don't know if we're going to purchase that or not. But, uh, you know, I'm falling in love with it more and more every day. I know there's not a lot of them out there. Uh, not a lot of them that are available. But here's, a, here's where they come from. See, now, now I know. I can look, go back and I can say, you know what? Uh, this is where it came from. I can see uh, the evolution of it. I can see where where it has derived. Boom, here it is, you guys. The C8 2020 mid-engine Corvette. This car has changed and revolutionized the, the, the industry. This car has taken the industry by storm. It really has. It really has. And really, 
if you really think about it, it has really enhanced all of our cars uh, tremendously. So this is the, the 2020. Uh, I know you guys love this kind of stuff. 2020 coverage is, is off the charts. I'll try to uh, edit and put some of these uh, 2020s together, but this is where this is where the uh, uh, C8 started, uh, right through here. This is when I first start paying attention to uh, the Corvette 19, about 1973 or so. Um, this car started showing up in our neighborhood. For those that don't know, I am from Detroit, and, and Detroit is the Motor City. So we start seeing these cars showing up in the neighborhood. Um, 1973. This was a bad ride, y'all. Look at that car. Got a convertible. 350, four speed, 1973. All right, y'all, here we go. 1967 Stingray. <clears throat> 1967 Stingray. Maroon. I call that car a 427 Big Block. 427 Big Block. Another 1967 Sunfire Yellow. Sunfire Yellow, beautiful color. Sunfire Yellow. I showed you guys that 73, which really uh, drew my attention. And then, boom, then they came back with this uh, 74 start seeing these in the neighborhood again I told y'all I grew up in Detroit uh, and um, start seeing these in the neighborhood I believe that my neighbor had a brown one uh, that looked like this I love this evolution right here you guys check this out the journey to the mid-engine this is awesome from the 53 we saw that when we came in saw that one 63 this is awesome, you guys. Just to be able to see the journey. If you see your car, if you see your car, put it in the comments. Like this video. Put it in the comments. Say, hey, that's my car. I just saw my car. I just saw my car. All right, that's the mid-engine. Back there, there's your C7. Okay, I showed you guys the evolution of the car on the wall now i've already showed you guys the c8 so you saw that so i'm going to show you the evolution of corvette from the c1 to the c7 but i'm gonna i'm gonna work my way uh backwards I'm work my way backwards i'm gonna start with the uh c7 that's my car <laughs> except you know my car is black i love my c7 and then you got the, the c6 it's uh, running from 2005 to 2000 13 C5 is running from 1997 to 2004 C4 a lot of I see a lot of C4s out there and it's still a sharp car love this car 84 through 96 C4 84 through 96 and then the C3 1968 to 1982 and remember I was telling you guys uh, that 73 and that 74 all those cars through there this C3 this is the one that caught my attention and my wife loves these right here the C2s C2s run from 63 to 1967 and then of course um, what started it off for all of us is the uh, C1, 1953 to 1962. So, uh, so this is it, you guys. If you like this content, please like, subscribe, click that bell uh, notification. I need your support. Put some comments uh, down in the uh, comment section. Uh, let me know which vehicle you have. Let me know which vehicle uh, that you hope to get. Or, you know, if you're going to stand pat with yours and just continue to improve it.
hooked up. This is where I signed off. Had a great time here at the Corvette Museum. I recommend if you own a, 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 any type of C8 or a C1 or C7 or C5 or C4, whatever you own, I recommend that you make sure that you come on down to the Corvette Museum and enjoy yourself. Listen, have yourselves a great uh, day and enjoy the ride.